Chris here from Seni Fight Show, reporting with Mick and Al. Al. And Al. Excellent. Okay, so they've just done a seminar. I'd like to explain what they covered in the seminar. Uh, where are you guys from? Coventry. Yeah, Coventry, and I teach in Milton Keynes as well. So, um, yeah, Midlands, Midlands based. Okay, what's the name of the company you represent? Is called Complete Self Protection, which is CompleteSelfProtection.com. That's the business side of it. Um, that's what all the products are for. Um, we actually teach well a couple of things really. Uh, we're associated with the British Combat Association, so we teach Jeff Thompson's Real Combat System, uh, which is a, just a mixture of lots of different arts really. Uh, Western boxing, karate, some Muay Thai, uh, lots of wrestling arts, Greco-Roman, freestyle wrestling, Sombo, and we just blend it all together into a kind of, well we, we extract what works in the street, but we also teach the whole of the art as well. Then it's over to Mick really. Yeah, and then uh, my side of things, both myself and Alan first started in karate together, and we did 17 years of that, um, and then I moved more into Thai boxing and Jeet Kune Do, which is a you know, famous guru down in Osanto. So basically, again, that's a combination of different arts. You know, what works for us might not work for other people. So basically, you know, we teach martial arts that we just hope improve people's lives. You know, the, the byproduct is you can defend yourself, but then again, don't get yourself in a bad situation. And you won't need to defend yourself, really. You know, I don't know. That's a new way of looking at things. So, <laughs> that's great. So you, you're here at the uh, Teddy Pie Show. I've just seen you doing a, a seminar. Look really great. Great attendance. Uh, what were you covering today? It was really, again, it was, it was pitched as being complete self-protection, so it was really trying to give, in 50 minutes, a quick taster of what we do. So we covered uh, preemptive striking, which for me is the number one thing for outside. It's about managing the confrontation, managing space. If the worst comes to the worst and you've got no option, it's being first, hitting first, then getting a knockout shot. So we taught preemptive striking really quickly, just let people do one technique, their favourite technique. Um, and then looking at, okay, what if it doesn't work? You know, monkeys fall out of trees, sometimes things don't go according to plan. Uh, and most fights never go according to plan, so it's what happens then. So we looked a little bit at clinch, some of the mixed stuff is about controlling clinch, bringing in some of the more tie then, so close range knees. Did a little bit of dirty stuff, so some head rips and some chokes from the clinch, and then we were going to finish off with some of the stuff we do more recently now, which is multiple assailants training. What, what do you do against groups? Um, and we just ran out of time, but we were going to incorporate that at the end as well. I think I heard you mentioning the spear. Was it a spear or was it a fence? Okay. Do you have a, a a view on that? Well, I was taught the fence by a guy called Jeff Thompson, yeah. who's my brother-in-law. I've trained with him since I was 12, and so the real combat system is something that we kind of spearhead now, myself and Mick and two of the guys, Matty and Tony, uh, kind of Jeff's lead instructors. Uh, and Jeff came up with the, this concept of the fence years ago, 20 years ago now. I worked here really successfully on the door for years in Coventry, and so I brought, put together a book, wrote a book called Fence Concepts, and a DVD to go with it, which really took it the next step, and looking at how we can manage space and control space, control those vital few seconds between someone confronting you and someone attacking you, uh, and hopefully manage it so you take charge. And really the fence is all about up there, actually taking control yourself rather than letting the fight dictate what happens next. You need to take charge very quickly and be proactive. You know, and Mick will agree, the, the big message we have then is that take that action attitude of being proactive, being first, uh, and apply it to everything. So if I've got something in my life that's not going very well, well, be active, take, a, take the action to deal with it straight away, don't let it escalate, don't let it progress. Then martial arts gives you a much better life in general. There's more lessons to be learned than just knocking people out and learning how to hit, hit, hit pat hard. But, you know, you feel... You come up against adversity all the time by just getting out of the chair and going training. So if you can do that, you know, that's got to relate to everything else in your life. You know, it'd be a no-brainer otherwise. And you know, it's a, it's a hobby, you spend an awful lot of time doing it. So there has to be some more benefits than just being able to inflict pain on another human being. You know, it's, you know, try well, the that's, nice approach. Well, that's quite a cool too. Yeah, no, yeah, there it is, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can make bad people into nice people by hitting them a few times. Yeah. But as long as they, as long as they're reasonably okay afterwards, you're alright. That's how it works. That's great. So we got Mick and Al from Real Combat System. Check them out on uh, www.completesalfprotection.com.
or Al Beesland. Just Google it. You'll find AlBeesland.com. You'll or find you, us or, there. Or YouTubers. Yeah. YouTubers can see some. Uh, YouTube, Vimeo, Blogspot. We're all over the shop. 